The Bharat Ratna Hindi pronunciation, Bia Art, Art, N, Jewel of India is the highest civilian award of the Republic of India. Instituted in 1954, the award is conferred, "...in recognition of exceptional service, performance of the highest order", without distinction of race, occupation, position, or sex. The award was originally limited to achievements in the arts, literature, science, and public services, but the government expanded the criteria to include any field of human endeavor. In December 2011, the recommendations for the Bharat Ratna are made by the Prime Minister to the President, with a maximum of three nominees being awarded per year. Recipients receive a Sanad certificate signed by the President and a Pipal leaf shaped medallion. There is no monetary grant associated with the award. Bharat Ratna recipients rank 7th in the Indian order of precedence. The first recipients of the Bharat Ratna were politician C. Rajagopalachari, philosopher Sarvpali Radhakrishnan, and scientist C. V. Raman, who were honoured in 1954. Since then, the award has been bestowed upon 45 individuals, including 12 who were awarded posthumously. The original statutes did not provide for posthumous awards but were amended in January 1955 to permit them. Former Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri became the first individual to be honoured posthumously. In 2014, cricketer Sachin Tendulkar, then aged 40, became the youngest recipient, while social reformer Dondo Keshav Karve was awarded on his 100th birthday. Though usually conferred on India-born citizens, the Bharat Ratna has been awarded to one naturalised citizen, Mother Teresa, and to two non-Indians, Pakistan national Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan and former South African President Nelson Mandela. On 24 December 2014, the Indian government announced the award to independence activist Maidan Mohan Malviya posthumously and former Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee. The Bharat Ratna, along with other personal civil honours, was briefly suspended from July 1977 to January 1980, during the change in the national government, and for a second time from August 1992 to December 1995, when several public interest litigations challenged the constitutional validity of the awards. In 1992, the government's decision to confer the award posthumously on Subhas Chandra Bose was opposed by those who had refused to accept the fact of his death, including some members of his extended family. Following a 1997 Supreme Court decision, the press communique announcing Bose's award was cancelled. It is the only time when the award was announced but not conferred. Several bestowals of the award have met with criticism. The posthumous award for M. G. Ramachandran 1988 was considered to have been aimed at placating the voters for the upcoming assembly election and posthumous awards of Maidan Mohan Malviya 2015 and Vallabh Bhai Patel 1991 drew criticism for they died before the award was instituted. History On 2 January 1954, a press communique was released from the office of the Secretary to the President announcing the creation of two civilian awards Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award, and the three tier Padma Vibhushan, classified into Pahala Warg, Class 1, Dusra Warg, Class 2, and Tisra Warg, Class 3, which rank below the Bharat Ratna. On 15 January 1955, the Padma Vibhushan was reclassified into three different awards, the Padma Vibhushan, the highest of the three, followed by the Padma Bhushan and the Padma Shri. There is no formal provision that recipients of the Bharat Ratna should be Indian citizens. It has been awarded to a naturalized Indian citizen, Mother Teresa in 1980, and to two non-Indians, Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan of Pakistan in 1987 and the former South African President Nelson Mandela in 1990. Sachin Tendulkar, at the age of 40, became the youngest person and first athlete to receive the honor. In a special ceremony on 18 April 1958, Dondo Keshav Karve was awarded on his 100th birthday. As of 2015, the award has been conferred upon 45 people with 12 posthumous declarations. The award was briefly suspended twice in its history. The first suspension occurred after Murarji Desai was sworn in as the fourth Prime Minister in 1977. His government withdrew all personal civil honours on 13 July 1977. The suspension was rescinded on 25 January 1980, after Indira Gandhi became the Prime Minister. 
The civilian awards were suspended again in mid-1992, when two public interest litigations were filed, one in the Kerala High Court and another in the Madhya Pradesh High Court, challenging the «constitutional validity» of the awards. The awards were reintroduced by the Supreme Court in December 1995, following the conclusion of the litigation. Regulations The Bharat Ratna is conferred, "...in recognition of exceptional service, performance of the highest order", without distinction of race, occupation, position, or sex. The award was originally confined to the arts, literature, science, and public services, as per the 1954 regulations. In December 2011, the rules were changed to include, "...any field of human endeavor." The 1954 statutes did not allow posthumous awards, but this was subsequently modified in the January 1955 statute, and Lal Bahadur Shastri became the first recipient to be honored posthumously in 1966. Although there is no formal nomination process, recommendations for the award can only be made by the Prime Minister to the President, with a maximum number of three nominees being awarded per year. However, in 1999, four individuals were awarded the honor. The recipient receives a Sanad certificate signed by the President and a medallion without any monetary grant. Under the terms of Article 18 of the Constitution, the recipients cannot use the award as a prefix or suffix to their name, although recipients may use either the expressions, "...awarded Bharat Ratna by the President," or "...recipient of Bharat Ratna Award," to indicate that they have been honored with the award. The holders of the Bharat Ratna rank seventh in the Indian order of precedence. As with many official announcements, recipients are announced and registered in the Gazette of India, a publication released by the Department of Publication, Ministry of Urban Development used for official government notices. Without publication in the Gazette, conferral of the award is not considered official. Recipients whose awards have been revoked or restored, both of which require the authority of the President, are registered in the Gazette. Recipients whose awards have been revoked are required to surrender their medals, and their names are struck from the register. Specifications The original 1954 specifications of the award was a circle made of gold 1 and 3 8 inches in diameter with a centered sun burst design on the obverse side. The text Bharat Ratna, in Devanagari script, is inscribed on the upper edge in silver gilt with a wreath set along on the lower edge. A platinum state emblem of India was placed in the centre of the reverse side with the national motto, Satyameva Jayate, Truth Alone Triumphs, in Devanagari script, inscribed in silver gilt on the lower edge. A year later, the design was modified. The current medal is in the shape of a pipal leaf, approximately 2 and 5 16 inches 59 mm long, 1 and 7 8 inches 48 mm wide and 1 8 inch 3.2 mm thick and rimmed in platinum. The embossed sun burst design, made of platinum, on the obverse side of the metal has a diameter of 5 8 inch 16 mm with rays spreading out from 5 6 inch 21 mm to 1 half inch 13 mm from the center of the sun. The words, Bharat Ratna, on the obverse side remained the same as the 1954 design as did the emblem of India and Satyameva Jayate on the reverse side. A 2 inch wide 51 mm white ribbon is attached to the medal so it can be worn around the neck. In 1957, the silver gilt decoration was changed to burnished bronze. The Bharat Ratna medals are produced at Alipur Mint, Kolkata along with the other civilian and military awards like Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, Padma Shri, and Param Veer Chakra. Controversies The Bharat Ratna has been surrounded by several controversies and multiple public interest litigations had been filed against the conferral of the award. Subhas Chandra Bose 1992. On 23 January 1992, a press release was published by the President's Secretariat to confer the award posthumously on Subhash Chandra Bose. The decision triggered much criticism and a pill was filed in the Calcutta High Court to revoke the award. 
The petitioner took objection to the conferral of the award and its posthumous mention of Bose, saying that honoring a personality higher than the award is ridiculous, and it was an act of carelessness to classify such a person with past and future recipients. It said that the award cannot be conferred to Bose posthumously as the government had not officially accepted his death on 18 August 1945. The petitioner requested the whereabouts of Bose from 18 August 1945 till date, based on the information collected by the 1956 Shah Nawaz Committee and the 1970 Khosla Commission. Bose's family members expressed their unwillingness to accept the award. To deliver the judgment, the Supreme Court formed a special division bench with Judge Sujata V. Manohar and G. B. Patanayak. The Solicitor General noted that to confer the award per the appropriate regulations pertaining to the Bharat Ratna, Padma Vibhushan, Padma Bhushan, and Padma Shri, the name of the recipient must be published in the Gazette of India and entered in the recipient's register maintained under the direction of the President. It was noted that only an announcement had been made by press communique, but the government had not proceeded to confer the award by publishing the name in the Gazette and entering the name in the register. Furthermore, the then presidents, R. Venkataraman and Shankar Dayal Sharma had not conferred a Sanad certificate with their signature and seal. On 4 August 1997, the Supreme Court delivered an order that since the award had not been officially conferred, it cannot be revoked and declared that the press communique be treated as cancelled. The court declined to pass any judgment on the posthumous mention of Bose and his death. Civilian awards as Titles. 1992. In 1992, two pills were filed in the High Courts, one in the Kerala High Court on 13 February 1992 by Balaji Raghavan and another in the Madhya Pradesh High Court indoor bench on 24 August 1992 by Sadia Palanand. Both petitioners questioned the civilian awards being titles per an interpretation of Article 18 of the Constitution. On 25 August 1992, the Madhya Pradesh High Court issued a notice temporarily suspending all civilian awards. A special division bench of the Supreme Court was formed comprising five judges, A. M. Ahmadi C. J., Kuldip Singh, B. P. Jeevan Reddy, N. P. Singh, and S. Sagir Ahmad. On 15 December 1995, the special division bench restored the awards and delivered a judgment that the Bharat Ratna and Padma awards are not titles under Article 18 of the Constitution. CNR Rao and Sachin Tendulkar 2013 following the announcement, in November 2013, that CNR Rao and Sachin Tendulkar were to be awarded the Bharat Ratna, multiple pills were filed challenging the conferring of the award. The pill filed against Rao declared that other Indian scientists, such as Homi Baba and Vikram Sarabhai, had contributed more than Rao and his claim of publishing 1400 research papers was physically impossible. The suit stated that as Rao had proven cases of plagiarism, he should not be presented with the award but rather should be annulled. The pill filed against Tendulkar to the Election Commission under the Right to Information Act indicated that the awarding him the Bharat Ratna was a violation of the Model Code of Conduct. The petitioner noted that as Tendulkar was an Indian National Congress nominated member of Rajya Sabha, the decision to award him the Bharat Ratna would influence the voters of Delhi, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and Mizoram where the election process was underway at the time. Another pill was filed against Tendulkar and a few ministers, alleging a conspiracy to ignore. An Indian field hockey player Dhyan Chand, on 4 December 2013, the Election Commission rejected the petition stating that conferring the award on people from non-polling states did not amount to a violation of the code. Other high courts as well rejected the petitions raised against Rao and Tendulkar. Criticism <inaudible> 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 In 1988, then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi (1984–89) conferred the Bharat Ratna posthumously on film actor and former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, M. G. Ramachandran, in a bid to influence voters prior to the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections in 1989. The decision was criticized for awarding Ramachandran before independence activist B. R. Ambedkar and Vallabhbhai Patel, who were bestowed the honor in 1990 and 1991, respectively. 
While Ravi Shankar was accused of lobbying for the award, the decision by Indira Gandhi to posthumously honor K. Kamaraj was considered to have been aimed at placating Tamil voters for the Tamil Nadu Assembly elections in 1977. The seventh Prime Minister V. P. Singh was criticized for posthumously honoring B. R. Ambedkar to please the Dalits. The posthumous conferments of the award on the recipients who died before the Indian independence in 1947 or the award was instituted in 1954 have been criticized by historians. It was noted that such conferments could lead to more demands to honor people like Maurya Emperor Ashoka, Mughal Emperor Akbar, Maratha Emperor Shivaji, Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, Hindu spiritualist Swami Vivekananda, and independence activist Bal Gangadhar Tilak. The then Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao was criticized for bestowing the award upon Vallabhbhai Patel in 1991, 41 years after his death in 1950, and upon Subhas Chandra Bose in 1992, who went missing since 18 August 1945. Similarly in 2015, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's decision to award Maidan Mohan Malviya, who died in 1946, met with criticism. Janardhan Dwivedi, politician of the Indian National Congress, said that Malviya, who worked predominantly in Varanasi, was deliberately chosen by the Prime Minister Modi, who is the incumbent member of parliament from Varanasi. A few of the conferments have been criticized for honoring personalities only after they received global recognition. The award for Mother Teresa was announced in 1980, a year after she was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Satyajit Ray received an Academy Honorary Award in 1992 followed by the Bharat Ratna the same year. In 1999, Amartya Sen was awarded the Bharat Ratna, a year after his 1998 Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences. The award was proposed by Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajpayee to President K. R. Narayanan who agreed to the proposal. Popular demands Though, as per the statutes for the Bharat Ratna, the recommendations for the award can only be made by the Prime Minister to the President, there have been several demands from various political parties to honor their leaders. In January 2008, Bharatiya Janata Party BJP leader L. K. Advani wrote to the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh recommending Singh's predecessor Adil Bihari Vajpayee for the award. This was immediately followed by the Communist Party of India Marxist lobbying for their leader, Jyoti Basu, former Chief Minister of West Bengal. Basu, India's longest-serving Chief Minister, said that he would decline the honour, even if awarded. Similar demands were made by Telugu Desam Party, Bahujan Samaj Party, and Shiramani Akali Dal for their respective leaders N. T. Rama Rao, Kanchi Ram, and Parkish Singh Badal. In September 2015, regional political party Shiv Sena demanded the award for the independence activist Vinayak Damodar Savarkar stating that he had been "...deliberately neglected by previous governments." But his family clarified that they are not making such demand and that the freedom fighter is known for his contribution towards independence movement and did not need an award for recognition. Per the original statutes, sportspersons were not eligible for the Bharat Ratna. However, a revision of the rules in December 2011 made eligible any field of human endeavor. Subsequently, several sportspersons' names were discussed. Among the most talked about of these was field hockey player Diane Chand, who was recommended multiple times for the posthumous honor. In 2011, 82 members of parliament recommended Chand's name for the award to the Prime Minister's office. In January 2012, the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports forwarded his name again, this time along with 2008 Summer Olympics gold medalist shooter Abhinav Bindra and mountaineer Tenzing Norgay. Bindra had earlier been recommended for the award in May 2013 by the National Rifle Association of India. In July 2013, the ministry again recommended Dayan Chand. However, in November 2013, cricketer Sachin Tendulkar became the first sports person to receive the honour and this garnered much criticism for the government. A pill was filed in the Karnataka High Court wherein the petitioner requested the court to issue a direction to the Ministry of Home Affairs to consider their representation dated 26 October 2012 and confer the Bharat Ratna upon Mahatma Gandhi. On 27 January 2014, a council appearing for the petitioner noted that after multiple representations from the petitioner, they were provided with the information under RTI that the recommendations to confer the award on Gandhi have been received multiple times in the past and were forwarded to the Prime Minister's office. 
a division bench comprising Chief Justice D. H. Waghela and Justice B. V. Nagarathna dismissed the petition stating that the subject is not amenable to any adjudication process and the nominations and conferment process is stated to be informal and in the discretion of the highest authority in the government. List of recipients Explanatory notes Posthumous recipients <laughs>